Hey everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. So excited that you are back and today this will be my first reaction video actually. Somebody sent me the video from Dototech. He's talking about voice typing changes everything. He's referring to voice typing using the new Google feature. I haven't watched the video yet. Thanks for sending it to me. Looks very interesting. Let's just see what he is sharing there and if we can take use of it to implement it in our own digital productivity system, right? Let's dive into this. Daughter here. How the heck are you doing this fine day? And today Thanks, awesome. on the big show, I want to talk to you about dictation. More, more than just straight up dictation. We've had dictation for a long time on our smartphones, really? on our computer. Both Apple and Microsoft gives us system level dictation, which works phenomenally well. If you just want to type into a document, you can do it with your voice using the dictation features that are built into your operating system. But Google has taken that and said, hold my beer. <laughs> I've got something better called voice typing. It is a step beyond dictation and it might just change your life. That's today. Loving his humor. Well, I'm German. People might think I don't have humor, but I love it. On Dottotech. Okay, let's set things up. For the longest time, we've been able to use dictation, which is built into the operating system of our computers and our smartphones. In the Apple world, if you go under the keyboard in the system extensions, you can go into dictation and you can turn on dictation, allowing you to be able to speak into the microphone and have that speech translated into text. So for example, if I'm in Evernote, and for me, I got it enabled with just a keyboard shortcut. I hit the keyboard shortcut and I can start dictating, comma. It will accept punctuation. It will allow me to write with my voice, which is very awesome, except for one fact, if I need to edit anything. See, as soon as I click my mouse inside of dictation and try and make any changes, I lose control and it. I mean, this is already an awesome feature and I use this already on the iPhone, but also on my Apple watch. And the things that I saw there is that it stops working at some point. So I, I keep talking and I always worry that, you know, talking for 10 minutes straight and then it realize, oh, it didn't record anything. It didn't translate anything. And this is what I'm worried about. But I have to check this out again because it's actually really awesome when you're on a walk and you want to talk to, you know, just create a note in Evernote. You can do this on your Apple Watch, on your iPhone. This is how I use dictation. But now let's see what else he has to share there. It, well, I don't lose control, but the dictation starts, stops, and I have to start over again. And this is good, but there is better. Allow me to show you better. If we go into Google Docs, under the tools menu is voice typing. It's just kind of sitting there like nothing special, but it is indeed something special. Let me show you how voice typing works. Voice typing allows us to do this. We turn it on and a little dialog box appears that allows a switch really that allows us to turn it on. I am going to edit the document on the fly as you would if you were normally typing, not just dictating and then having to stop and start over again. So watch. Well, I watch. I've now turned on the voice dictation and as you expect, it is accurately recording what I'm saying and converting that into text. I can insert and start typing again. I can add to the text. I can do basic formatting. I can change words, mouse. So this allows me to interactively work with the document period. For me, this is a game changer. Yep. Uh, this is actually a game changer. I really have to check this out, especially with my accent. If it is picking up the things that I need, it's great to get back instantly and correct the words on the fly. I assume that he will also show now that you can actually correct the words, typing the words in. That would be nice as well. Obviously the best would be if Apple would implement this as well properly. Like they have the scribble feature on the iPad with the Apple Pencil where you can now write in any text field on Apple. It would be great for the dictation thing as well that we have a lot of improvements where we have a lot more control over this. The other thing is I really thought and was hoping for that I can voice, voice control to get back in say last sentence, delete last sentence and things like that. Uh, I think this is already possible. Well, I have to check this out myself. Period. New paragraph. Let me show you some of the commands that are available to you. Now, ah, there we go. Go. The commands are coming now. Before I talk to you about the different commands that are built in, I should tell you that this works on so many languages and so many accents. Here is a list. 
just talked about the accent. Dodo, you got it right. Of the different languages that is supported under under voice typing and the dialects or the accents that are incorporated in those different languages. So pretty much as far as I can tell, a vast majority of the world's languages is supported by this technology, which again, I'm just gobstopped that Google isn't telling this to the entire world and telling us what a great tool this is. Well, it's actually a lot in Google, and I will do more videos on this channel as well, talking about the different Google features that most of you don't even know that they exist, looking into the Google Calendar, all the insights that we get there. If you're interested in this, subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't already, obviously subscribe to Dodo's channel as well. Is because this is pretty darned amazing. Don't you agree? Now you I choose do. your language here under this dialog box here inside of uh, when you open the tool, uh, you can access the language of choice. You have to choose the language that you're gonna be working with. Now, what commands do we have available? I've shown you basic punctuation. So you know that we can do commas, paragraphs. You can end a sentence with proper punctuation, such as a question mark, period, or an exclamation mark, period. You will notice it automatically capitalizes the beginning of new sentences, period, new line. And we can start new sentences on new lines or in an entirely different paragraph, period. New par You see, this is really awesome because I'm not a writer. I, I got used to writing scripts or some things like that, um, but I never liked it. I like talking and free flow talking and most of the amazing ideas coming up while I'm talking in a brainstorming session and so on. And so many times I thought, oh, could I just use what we had there uh, and use it elsewhere? And this is actually what we are doing with Descript. Descript is a tool that I will introduce to you as well. Let's just quickly open up this. Uh, Descript is what I'm using to transcribe the, the interviews. Let's just open up an interview here that you just saw on the YouTube channel. It's, it's live already, the Stefan Diasti interview with the Raven Scanner. And here you see that the awesome thing about this video editing software. So you just drag and drop your video in there or your audio file and it will transcribe it on the fly. That's the first good thing. But now the amazing part is, let's say I want to... Ableist Movement is a not sponsored channel, but when I find a product, I'm happy to support this company. Let's say I want to get rid of this part, right? I just delete the text here and what it did, it actually cut the video and the audio as well. So look at this. So I'm happy that he's with us and the mission and vision that we have in the past. There you go. And this is a game changer because this way I was able to bring in one of my team members doing the video edits for me for the interview, freeing up a lot of my time. I haven't had to train him in a proper video editing software. So everybody could do this. And this is the technology where it's going to. With Descript, it goes even further because you actually can train the software with your own voice and then write down the text and it will talk the text in your voice. But this is something for a completely different video. As I said, if you are interested about this stuff, make sure to subscribe to this channel. But now let's go back to Dodo Tech. Uh, the reason why I brought up the script here is that I was using this, for example, when we had an interesting meeting. It is recorded during a Zoom call. I can bring in the video, I get a transcript, and then I can leverage the text already written instead of sitting down, listening, and writing down you can imagine how much time this saves. And I see, you know, when you are brainstorming for yourself and trying to write something, to me, this is a game changer. Indeed, Dodo, let's, let's keep going there. Paragraph. And you see the formatting carries through. Now you can also select text and you can apply basic formatting to that text. So let's start it up again and watch. Select formatting, bold, undo, new line, you can adjust font size or color. Select line, ah. text color red. I think you get the idea that we can do so much basic formatting, but the concept of this interactive nature of staying on your keyboard and mouse, being able to select text, make changes verbally, uh, and just kind of work, work interactively with uh, our other input devices, to me, as I say, I believe it's a real game changer. So I'm wondering, what do you think? Is this, am I on point with thinking this is a real game changer? You are. I, I actually agree. This is a game changer for the reasons that I talked about before. And I really hope that we get more like this on the Apple Watch. Usually when I'm on a walk, 
And then I want to talk into the Apple Watch, just, you know, keeping the things in mind and then sending it to my single source of truth once I'm back, where I can leverage the information later on. I have started to write using this technique. And I have to say that I feel I am far more productive, far more creative and a little less lazy. You know, sometimes I would think I would write a sentence and I wouldn't be entirely happy with it. And it seems like a lot of work to go back and edit it on the keyboard. Where but that's actually something I'm not sure yet about. Maybe I think I would rather use it, the advantage of the dictation thing, and then click in and then change it with the keyboard and replace the, the words like this, because I'm so much faster navigating using the keyboard than just talking it out and then maybe it misunderstands that I said undo or whatever. Um, I have to check this out in more detail, but once this is coming back, uh, this is coming to Apple, I think this is a game changer as well. Where is my voice? Maybe it's just me, but I am finding it a pleasure to, to be writing using voice typing. For the longest time, I thought voice typing and dictation were the same thing, but I think that we've seen here right now that they are very different, and this is available to us free as a part of Google Docs. So try it out. Let me know in the comments what you think. It does this, it, will this, does this have the potential to change the way that you write? Is it yes, absolutely, Dodo. Um, as I said, Check out his channel if you don't know him. Now let's uh, go into a Google, Google Doodle, Doodle Doc. There we go. Uh, Google Doc and just check this out ourselves. So let's tools and then voice typing. And there you go. English. Let's let's keep UK as I was living for four years in UK. I probably got more on UK accent. In the end of the day, it's a German accent, right? Okay. Okay, I have to allow, obviously, and then I can start writing by just talking. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Paperless Movement. Let's see how fast this thing can actually collect my voice and transcribe it into proper text. And now let's see how good this was recorded, full stop. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. I'm actually surprised. This is really good. New line. Hi everybody and welcome back to the paperless movement. I'm Tom Solid, uh, your host in this show and let's see what we will find out today. Full stop, new line. Host. So yeah, I have to agree Dodo. This is really awesome. It, it picks up my voice very well, much better than Apple does actually. There are nearly no mistakes. I have Grammarly installed so it will make it e easier to quickly go through and even get rid of the grammar issues that I still have after so many years talking English. Um, this is awesome. Good. Uh, yeah, what do you think about this? As Dodo already asked for, go into the comments below. Let us know, do you use this already? Do you use other things? I know there is also there are also dictation softwares out there, but I think having the free access to the Google Suite or Google Workspace as it's called now, this is just a game changer. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends if you didn't know about this yet, and I'll catch you up next time, guys.